Hey there, everybody. Hello and welcome to Relaxed Mail. Got another review for you. Hey there, everybody. Hello and welcome to Relaxed Mail. Got another review for you. Today we're having to do it indoors just because I really don't know how to display a set of... Uh, uh, of, of cookware and that's what I've got this time it's uh, this is a camp chef I got a six piece cast iron cook set and this is uh, and you're seeing all six pieces so you're probably going what six pieces we got one two three four five now they're cheating a little bit I'm gonna let you in on this they're cheating a little bit because this is considered number six because it can also fit on that skillet. So we have two 10 inch, uh, we have a 10 inch Dutch oven, a 10 inch skillet, a 12 inch deep skillet, and a 10 inch shallow skillet uh, that also acts as a, as a lid for the, uh, for the deep skillet. Uh, deep skillet works real good for, uh, uh, for deep frying stuff do know because i have uh i've also cooked with all, all almost all this i haven't done anything with the dutch oven yet uh just because i haven't found a uh found a good dutch oven uh recipe actually i have come across a really good dutch oven recipe i just haven't been able to convince the wife to let me to buy all the materials that i need to actually put into it because it's it's a massive thing and a massive amount of meat so <laughs> anyhow um so anyhow, if you're wondering, you got a, uh, when you're storing this, you always want to have a piece of paper on your, uh, so that your uh, cast iron can actually breathe. But in all reality, I think this actually will breathe anyhow because um, it has a, a breather hole on both the top of the lid, on the lip the lid, and then on the lip of uh, of the cast iron of the uh, Dutch oven itself too. So, what do I think of this? Um, I've used it a couple times, and it works like it's supposed to. It works. It works real well. The only issue that I've run into is the thing that I've seen a lot of people talk about, and that is, it's pre-seasoned. It comes like this. Uh, there is a drawback to being pre-seasoned. Um, and if you look in here, you can actually, uh, you hear that raspy sound? It is what, uh, they actually use a, a kind of a soy base uh, element. I'm not sure exactly how they pre-season. I may find a... Uh, find a video to, to add on to this to show how they pre-season a cast iron uh, cast iron cookware but it's not glossy like it, yeah it looks like it, I may be showing you glossy but it's it's nowhere near as as it should be glass smooth <laughs> is the best way to phrase that so it works it's going to do great as um, as a defensive item Bink. you know so i can i somebody sneaks in you give them a good whacking on the head with a uh, little uh, the 10 inch works pretty good it's um and it's it's a solid piece of uh of of hardware and so i don't i don't ever see this being an issue especially if you treat uh if you take care of it right i've heard all cast iron if you treat it right and you take care of it um, you can actually take this stuff and pass it to your children and they can get just as much joy and, and health benefits out of it. Because, you know, you know, cast iron is a good thing to be cooking on because you actually get some essential minerals that are leached off of the, off the, uh, off the cast iron. Uh, per, uh, predominantly, you get iron in your system. If you remember anything from science, you uh you have a um you need iron for uh for your blood supply so anyhow it's <laughs> what else is there to say uh as you see i've i've done some i've cooked some eggs in it uh eggs came out deep fried some potatoes in here 
potatoes came good. Um, when I I did try cooking some hamburger patties in uh, in here once, and uh, the it could just be the way I season everything. I put a whole bunch of stuff on extra stuff on my on my hamburger patties, and so it always on frying pans always get some type of residue that I have to sit there and scrape off. Uh, I had a hell of a time getting everything off of that. And I mean, it was a lot of work to get that, all that stuff softened up and, and at least I'd have to heat it and then I'd salt it and then I would, uh, steam i would have to do the steam method and i'd sit there and be scraping away with a uh, with a plastic spatula which really doesn't work that good i'm gonna have to get myself a, just a wooden sharp edge spatula that uh, a wooden sharp edge scraper or um i'll also be getting uh a, a chain mail scrubber for uh for cast iron and that comes with a with a scraper that really gets inside these corners so you don't have to uh, the cat, the the chain mail is supposed to just kind of be used as a white, from what I understand, and, and have grasp. Uh, still learning a bit about about cast iron. So anyhow, uh, guys, this this is, works good. It's not that expensive as a whole. As getting a large set like this, uh, and getting two t uh, a shell a little twelve inch griddle, a, a deep uh, deep frying pan for. Uh, you know, deep skillet for frying stuff and and a uh, uh, great little 10 inch pan for uh, for making cornbread in and then you also ha again have a, a Dutch oven that you can make cobblers and other sorted items while out on uh, while you're out on your uh, out on out camping good grief um, the other thing I noticed and I have a small problem with is this doesn't have a if you are camping, a lot of times, especially if you want to do something that you bake with, um, you may take this a Dutch oven, you may set it in the coals, and then take some coals and set them on top. Well, this is not designed for that. See, there's no holding. Now, I could flip that upside down and hold and, and use that as a means to hold it. But there's an issue. How do we get that out without burning the tar out of your fingers? You really, really you can't. So the Dutch oven, when it comes to, so when it comes to on the Dutch oven, a little on the letdown, I may have to try a, get a, diff, a different brand and see what type and try it out. But I'm not going to do that until I've cooked something in, in this particular Dutch oven. So I'm not a fan of the Dutch oven itself. Uh, the designs on it, um, that's just a straight uh, bar. Um, that's going to burn the tar out of your hands if you try to try to pick it up. A lot of Dutch ovens have uh, the uh, the insulated, well, I wouldn't call it insulated. It's just, it's a outer wire handle. So it gets, it stays cooler. So you can actually grab a hold of the whole thing and take it off. Um, does have the, the Dutch oven uh uh, loop so that you can actually use your Dutch oven handle to pull off the the, the lid. Um, yeah, if there was anything I am disappointed in, it's going to be the quality uh, or the designs of the Dutch oven itself. And it's just little design items. Uh, Quality-wise, how it cooks, again, I don't know. I haven't cooked with it yet. But um, just being this stainless steel uh, handle, and you're gonna you're gonna want to make sure you carry a lot of a lot of oven mitts with this so that you can grab this. Uh, you can pull that. You can. It's. I'm I'm just not a not a huge fan. It almost looks like this is. Now that makes a lot of noise. Um, like it almost looks as if this uh, handle was an afterthought. They were like, uh, oh yeah, I guess we need to have a handle on here because. If you see, tilt this up. Actually, it clips on one end here, and then the other one is up high over here. So they're like, they knew they needed to make it balance. So they just kind of balance, cut it off, uh, offset it that way. So it just, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not a, not a fan of that. Everything else about it, 
it they it seems solid <laughs> looks i'm not seeing any type of uh metallurgical uh blemishes on here uh i was just noticing there is a where they must have had a little bit of a drip off on here on this so there's a little bit of there's there's issues there's uh, it's not perfect it's uh it definitely is a starter um there are higher quality uh cast iron skillets you acquire and and use other than that i mean the worst thing that brought about all this would be it i'll have to go through i'm gonna have to take and take the pre-seasoning off and re-season it um and i will definitely do it this and these two guys dutch oven I haven't got to use it yet, so I don't know how well it's going or how hard everything's going to stick. But yeah, I'll just uh, what I'll I'll go through and I'll just sand all the uh, pre-season stuff off and uh, and get it down to a nice uh, nice good uh, base and um, smoke the house up a little bit. So, but anyhow, folks, uh, that's that's it in a nutshell. It's these like I said, it's this is the camp chef. Uh, six piece uh granted they're, they're like i said they're kind of cheating a little bit because they're trying to call it the lid as as um as an additional uh uh as an additional piece when it if you're in a dutch oven uh, you got a dutch oven it's going to have to have a lid or it's not a dutch oven so <laughs> it's just a really deep pot so there you go you've got one two three four five six um these are and like i said they are they're they're heavy duty so feel like you need some uh want some uh you can get a link down below that you can go and uh you can purchase so uh get them at amazon there um yeah there <laughs> that's uh, that's it you've got uh the camp chef uh six piece is uh is a good start and uh we'll we'll go up from there because uh there are other skillets that are of higher quality as i mentioned earlier so there you go have a good day okay as of yesterday finishing up that uh that particular scene i went ahead and decided you know let's get uh let's go ahead and start re-seasoning these because um i like i said i wasn't there's different instances where it just wasn't quite as good as I wanted it to be. Um, I had uh, I completely forgot about uh, the eggs coming out with a lot of with a black uh, uh, black coating, I guess you'd call it, on there. And I don't remember there being so much of a black coating on uh, the uh, cast iron skillets I grew up with. So. Um, I washed, uh, I washed them, and I noticed as I was washing them and was wiping everything down, boy, there's a whole bunch of more uh, black coming off. So it's that, uh, it's that pre, uh, that pre-seasoning uh, that uh, that was causing, I think, was causing the problem. So went ahead and sanded uh, this one down to, uh, uh, okay, so sanded this one down until it was nice and smooth as well as smooth as cast iron can be but i smoothed it down uh sanded this one and then the top of the 12. and as you can see it's a lot shinier now than uh than it was before and uh i've run it through the oven four times now and i'm pretty pretty comfortable with with the with the base that i have now i did a uh did a flaxseed uh seasoning to start with and from there i'll probably be using just the uh your typical uh olive oil as a as a finish but <laughs> either way i think i've just made these uh these two items a lot more acceptable when it comes to their it comes to their their use uh Later on, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to do my, my deep um, and uh, go ahead and get it all sanded up and out and so that uh, and get it uh, get it seasoned. Uh, found out <laughs> when seasoning, a little dab will do you. Uh, 
because you may think, oh, if you watch some videos, people put in a bunch of oil. Don't do a lot of oil because it comes out and it's all st sticky and tacky. And I had to go over to Kent Rollins' uh, YouTube channel again to find out exactly how do you get it to not be sticky. Ended up having to uh, take basically steel wool, uh, get get it hot, um, and then use as, as hot water as I can, my hands could handle, and real quickly just kind of wipe off or scrub off all the excess uh buildup because it was just it was too much oil there was so it, um so what i had to do is uh kind of go back about a step and a half and apply some more and so i think that's also probably why uh the color is more of a bronze than it is than uh actual like the black but uh the 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 patina on this will build up as i go and it will become blacker and blacker until it is just a beautiful black cast iron skillet like it needs to be. Great set uh, for the price. Uh, maybe, I, I'm sure if you look around, because I was actually able to find these, uh, find this exact same set over at uh, our local uh, local farming store called Atwoods. And um, it was like $65, which, 20 bucks cheaper than what even they were showing on Amazon. So uh, you can find some pretty good deals on this. Uh, quality wise, make wise, I am not seeing anything that shows like these are multi-parted, um, uh, multi-pieced uh, 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 units. Uh, closest thing is, again, the lid, I think was an afterthought for the Dutch oven. They were like, oh, oh yeah, we need to put a lid on here because they just kind of welded a, did a dollop of, of, of iron and looped it over. And so you've got a really weird uh, handle. So I think the Dutch oven was just, their Dutch oven needs a lot of work. Um, not real pleased with the Dutch oven. So I'll probably be going for a little higher quality next time uh, when it comes to Dutch ovens. But I bet you if I get her all cleaned up and out, uh, I might be able to use that. Uh, here in the uh, in the kitchen and uh, and be able to uh, throw around some some amazing cobblers in it or something I don't know <laughs> I haven't uh, I haven't become the uh, the cast iron chef as of yet uh, I'll leave that to Henry Rollins or Kent Henry Rollins yeah uh, Kent Rollins so anyhow there you go uh, camp chef uh, cast iron six piece cast iron uh, set uh tickle pink about it i like it uh it give and i like it because it gives me the chance to to do other things with the cast iron that i want that uh needs to be uh needs to be used and tested with because i mean you got to know how to take care of your cast iron if you're going to use cast iron um and you're really going to get fed up and you're going to get aggravated if it's not seasoned right so if you're going to buy this go ahead and get a good orbital sander um and uh and uh some 60 to 80 grit sandpaper get ready to make a day of it because it while well, you have to you heat your pans up so that takes 15 minutes or so you wipe the oil on which takes about a minute at the most put it in a preheated oven and then and let that uh let that heat up and bake in uh, the, uh, let all that, uh, that oil bond with the, uh, with the metal that takes, uh, 45 minutes and then you have cool down time. You have to let it cool all the way down. I'll have a link down below to, uh, Kent Rollins, uh, video that I used for reference on how to re-seasoned, pre-seasoned cast iron. So got these four uh four layers on took me all day well actually into into the evening uh got got the last set out pulled it out uh after it, or turned the oven off and just let it cool um everything cool down oh, about 10 o'clock last night so it you're gonna have a full day doing this but once you get that set and done you're in like flint so anyhow all right that's my review i'm rambling now so y'all take care Thank you very much for watching, and uh, please click the subscribe, whichever 
it should be over around in here someplace. But anyhow, click the subscribe and the bell icon so that, uh, you know, whenever I put out another video, we're going to be starting to try to get a review video out once a month, um, uh, the last weekend of each month. And then we also got uh, the reconnect uh, videos. So check those out too. So actually it'll be over on this side. So anyhow, thank you again for watching. We'll catch you later.